hello everyone in this video i am going to show you guys about how to create this chair in the furniture template file but before we start with the tutorial i ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start open new furniture template file one thing to remember that this is not going to be a parametric family so the reference planes which i am which i am placing in this floor plan and after that in the uh, front elevation are just for references uh, for to draw easily draw the chair according to the dimensions and just to show you guys what are the dimensions which i am using to design this chair After placing the reference planes in the reference level floor plan, go to front elevation and place these two reference planes and then adjust the dimensions as shown in the video. Now select extrusion from the create tab and draw a rectangle like this. Click OK then go to reference level floor plan and with the help of these arrows set the extrusion like this. Now select void extrusion set the reference plane to this surface and draw another rectangle like this. Click OK then go to front elevation and drag it down. So now you can see in the 3D that a void has been created in the center. Now go to right elevation. Again select void extrusion. And with an offset of minus 1 inches. Draw a rectangle like this. Then click OK. Go to front elevation and drag the arrows like this in the 3d you can see how the voids has been created now go to front elevation and drag these arrows of extrusion and void extrusion like this as i guess it is it should be a little bit lower okay now go to back elevation Again select void extrusion, set the reference plane to this surface and draw a rectangle like this at a height of 8 inches from the base. Then click OK, go to reference level floor plan, drag the arrow to adjust the extrusion and in the 3D you can see the, how that void has been created. Now in the right elevation, draw the design of the chair like this. This is basically one part which is going to be inside the previous, previous box which we have just created.
now click ok and go to reference level floor plan and drag these arrows towards this side and the other one towards this side and in the 3d you can see that our chair without cushions is now complete now you need to place uh, the back cushion and the seat cushion on for this chair for that i have selected extrusion in this right elevation and i am drawing the i'm drawing the seat cushion as shown in the video draw an arc on all of the four corners as shown to give it a soft look Again in the reference level floor plan adjust the extrusion again go to right elevation and with the help of void sweep I am going to create a curved edges of the boundaries for that sketch the path then click ok go to front elevation and draw the profile for the sweep as shown select this profile and mirror it from the center towards the opposite side and then click ok and now you can see the rounded edges has been created for to give it a cushion a, a soft look again go to right elevation and now i'm going to draw the back cushion for that select extrusion set the reference plane to center left right and draw the uh, cushion uh, draw the ex, uh, profile for the extrusion has drawn also keep the four corners rounded yes this is also a cushion and I want to give it a soft look and after that again I'm going to uh, apply the same process of uh, white sweep as I have applied in that in the seat cushion previously
the design of the chair is now fully complete apply material parameters to it I'm going just going to skip that part after that I'm going to load this chair into the project file after saving it and in the level 1 floor plan I have placed it like this use space bar on the keyboard to rotate the component I am going to mirror it towards the opposite side and in the 3D you can see how it looks like. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.